Hi there. I thought I would show you how to do uh, make a couple of uh, tweaks uh, or even uh, suggest some tips for Peppermint 8. Uh, of course, Peppermint 8 does not look like this in its original form. Um, I've customized it uh, to my liking. Uh, and if you're curious about any of that, I suggest you look at some of my previous videos that will go into detail on doing that. Um, but as for the, I, I would call them more of inconveniences in Peppermint 8. Um, the first one is that there's no way of, that I know of, of, of creating a trash icon shortcut on your panels. Um, and the only way of accessing it is to open up your file manager and then right clicking on it to empty it or access that trash can. Um, the other method that you can uh, do is to create the icon on the desktop. And in doing that, uh, it, particularly in, in Peppermint 8, they, they give you the application that allows you to, to tweak that. You would go into your start menu, go into the all settings, go into tweaks. Then you're, you're looking for dconf editor if you click on it. Then you want to uh, navigate to org, click on the little triangle there, and it'll point down. Then you want to click on Nemo, click on that triangle. Then you want to get to desktop, click on the word desktop, and you'll notice the check marks that are either engaged or not. And what the first, the two, the first two I assume are, uh, would be uh, the defaults are checked. Uh, but the bottom two I enabled or checked so that I could get the trash I icon and the volumes uh, is for your external USB hard drive or your flash drive. They'll actually show on the desktop with this additional check. Uh, once you've checked them, you should see immediate changes. If not, uh, close, close this out, reboot, uh, but you should see it immediately, I believe. Um, so that's that. Uh, the next item is um, getting uh, the ability to uh, play Netflix in the default browser that comes with Peppermint. You don't have access to playing uh, Netflix. Um, there are uh, files that you can install, but I find it too complicated or inconvenient. And uh, the other option is to just install uh, Google Chrome, you will definitely get uh, Netflix immediately if you install Google Chrome. But Chromium uh, makes it a little more difficult, and that's where uh, Firefox comes in. You can install Firefox, and uh, the, the key is to make sure you have uh, a current version or the newer versions, I think starting in 51 possibly. Uh, this version is 53, and what I did was a Google search and it came up with, um, you know, Netflix on Firefox 53 not playing back. And if you'll read the text, you'll, it'll give you the process of what you need to do. Um, you need to enable the DRM, um, which uh, gives you the ability to play Netflix. And what you want to do here, just read all the way down to here, the, the bottom where it says note, it will not apply or should not apply to you. You're just enable. You already have. Um, you would already have Wide Vine uh, installed. I imagine at this point uh, in this version, all you need to do is just enable the uh, the DRM content. So, um, what you'll do is copy this text about preferences. Uh, the, the, this information here. Put it in the address bar, click enter. Um, it may, it'll probably open up a second tab. Then it'll give you an ability. It'll show you a checkbox that uh, you want to make sure you enable the checkbox for play DR, DRM content. Uh, then uh, close the browser, reopen it, and from that point on, you should be able to play uh, Netflix in Firefox. Um, let me close this out. Um, 
the other item uh, is has to do with uh, when you want to suspend or log out. Um, you the only way or the main way is opening your start menu, then hitting your log out menu, which gives you these options. Um, the uh, there's another way where you can get maybe one or two of those options uh, to put in your panel, but you can't have all of them uh, enabled in your panel uh, because of, I, I assume it's just the way it was created, it has to do with uh, the desktop environment. Um, so the quick way, that, there's a second way uh, that gives you a convenient way of logging out and all the other options. This is just hit Control, Alt, Delete and that gives you the same options as, as it would in your start menu. Um, but you'll notice that what I've done here, I'll right click on this, properties. These are the action buttons and the only one I have enabled is the switch user. You, you only have access, I think in theory, to two of them, which is a lock screen and the switch user. So if I click on that, you'll notice now I have a lock screen icon and switch user. I've also unchecked the show confirmation dialog, so it's just a one-click operation. Um, but I'm only, I only prefer to have the switch user available, which is basically logging out. Uh, and then of course, um, in this, the appearance, if you go to session, it would show it in this uh, context here. Um, but what I do is, uh, make sure that it's switched to action button that gives you the particular icon for that function. Um, so that's another option for at least one or two of the uh, uh, ways of logging out um, other than the other ones I've mentioned. And, uh, oh, there may be, oh, I guess the one other option is if you want to change the folders they it comes with the standard colored uh, folders that I I don't prefer the uh, the color scheme and in peppermint 8 you have the ability if you go into to the start menu click on the <coughs> excuse me the peppermint setting panel and you'll notice that you can customize the icon folders in peppermint 8 so if you click there put in your password And what you'll notice is that you'll have uh, even you'll have styles of folders, different styles. I prefer style six, and then you'll notice you'll have different colors for those folders. And if you uh, click on what you want, hit apply, there'll be a delay. It'll it'll caution you. There's a delay. And what I've had to do is log out. Uh, actually reboot not log out reboot to notice the changes so uh, just that's a heads up if you're wanting to tweak your folders um, and uh, I think that's it for now in terms of showing you peppermint aid and, and making a few changes with it uh, thanks for watching